Some of the biggest tech companies in the world in California, in San Francisco, are laying off people. Microsoft lays off another 650 people in the gaming division and bring the total to almost 3,000 people. Now, this is just one company with just about 3,000 layoffs. Not that much, right? But when you start adding in some of the biggest companies in the San Francisco Bay Area, it's a little bit troubling. Because there's thousands of massive tech companies in the Bay Area. When every single company is laying off thousands of people, it adds up. Right now, San Francisco is losing a bunch of tech guys. The population is decreasing. Some of the highest earners are gone. And not to mention, a bunch of companies are also moving online. And look at this, guys. Even Cisco is cutting more than 4,000 jobs, lowers the annual revenue forecast. Now, a lot of companies recently are not doing well. Another big thing is this whole entire AI boom just went up way too fast. And now some of the biggest chip companies are down and the recovery doesn't seem that great. Cisco is another one of those big tech companies that kind of grew pretty decently, but even they have to take a little break. So in a revenue, downgraded. Jobs, cuts, people, unemployed. And with some of these really expensive, high-paying jobs out of the workforce, a lot of these guys are not going to be high spenders anymore in the Bay Area. They're going to leave the Bay Area to other places which are cheaper to live in. Right now, California's unemployment rate is slowly ticking upwards. It's double that of Florida. That does not seem that great at all. Now, the really scary thing about the San Francisco Bay Area is it's getting more empty, right? So big tech companies are firing off employees. People are moving online. But what's even more scary is some of the biggest companies are literally just selling their offices. Like this, the former Airbnb leased office building is selling for a massive steep discount. Let's see how fat this discount is. Okay, 50% off. It was sold in 2016 for about $50 million. Recently, it was sold for $25 million. Bucks, so 50% discount from the eight-year price ago. So that's pretty terrible. 2016 prices, imagine buying this almost a decade ago and you still sell it for a loss, a 50% discount loss. And that's not including the inflation either, which hurts even more. There you go. Even Airbnb is downsizing their offices and some of the finest offices in the Bay Area are selling for dirt cheap prices, prices that you literally can't get anywhere in the world. But there's even a lot of investors that refuse to touch the Bay Area real estate because this place just has terrible policies, which they never change. And like I said, with massive layoffs going on, especially from the AI department, we are seeing these office buildings possibly never be fully tenanted again. These are office buildings that will probably have a vacancy rate of over 50% for the next few decades, maybe even higher. There's no longer that many tenants in the Bay Area. Some of the tenants are moving online. And what's even more frightening is you got some of the biggest companies like Apple already slowly wanting to move to Miami, the next hot destination. Not to mention, this is one of the hottest places. And Apple, one of the biggest fanboys of California and especially the Bay Area and Cupertino, even they have decided to quietly sign almost a 50,000 square foot Miami office lease. Why is that? It's pretty simple. They don't really want to stay in California. They don't want to put their, all their eggs in one basket. If Florida is becoming this such a hot place for techs, might as well Apple join in because apparently Microsoft has an office here. Amazon has a big office here. This is going to be the new Silicon Valley, guys. And I think California is making a big mistake with these very anti-business policies and all that. Right now, I think every big company and also small business owners and employees in tech and finance are starting to notice they don't have to stay in the traditional cities like New York and San Francisco and pay sky high taxes for a low quality living. You could go elsewhere, even North Carolina is becoming a small little Silicon Valley. This is another big one. Google ending their massive multi-campus development deal. $15 billion canceled. Lindley's, this Australian development company, has been canceled so many times and I think they literally moved back to Australia because it's impossible to get any project up and started in California. It's very difficult to get anything built in California. The laws are crazy there. But at the same time, nobody needs offices. Nobody needs skyscrapers anymore. Whereas places like Florida, they're building like crazy. And this goes back to the original statement, the job loss. 
you know, the job loss is increasing the Bay Area. Projects in the real estate development is decreasing dramatically. And some of the biggest corporations are also selling their buildings and leaving. 